the Nairobi Security Exchange is an infrastructure that allows investors and issuers to interact. Uh, we've been around since uh, 1954. We are now 67 years old uh, and we offer a wide range of products. And that makes us among the premier markets in Africa and, and really the most established market in Eastern Central Africa. So sustainability for us um, really revolves around how do we ensure that our, biz, our, our companies and anybody who interacts with the exchange is able to uh, continue doing good business, is able to continue enhancing governance, and is able to align their business and processes to the, uh, uh, the social, SDG goals. And really that's what we try and, 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 and bring into, into the NSC as, as part of our drive to achieve this. Health and well-being remains a very key focus for us uh, because the key um, resource we all have in organization are our people. And I think nothing uh, speaks to this better than what happened last year with the COVID-19 situation. So what we did is that we were able to pivot to really a fully remote working environment. So we were able to migrate all our staff to go work at home. We were even able to migrate the market we were able to keep everybody secure. Um, our investors were able to continue trading because they're using their devices also remotely. And um, the system has been running very well. Uh, the NSC is very driven to ensure we have gender parity across uh, companies listed on the exchange. Having equal pay discussions, having uh, representations, bottom up and top down, uh, being able to keep mat metrics of what's going, what, what these numbers look like. So we have got many programs that aim to achieve that. The 30% Club, which we subscribe to, the Women Empowerment Principles. Uh, we also ring the bell for women under the UN Sustainable Stock Exchange Initiative. So there are quite a number of programs we've put in place to ensure that we, we, we achieve that SDG goal number five. So on the 30% club, we joined the 30% club to also ensure we're able to drive the one-third agenda in, in, in really at a very uh, macro level. So at the NSE, we have tried deliberately to uh, achieve the one-third agenda for the company. And we're trying to achieve a one-third agenda across the board. Because when you join the 30% club, then you consciously have something to work on, you know? So if you've got an imbalance today where maybe you're 90% men and 10% women, but you, you'll work hard to ensure you improve that to at least 30%. Does NSC provide policies around sexual protection, uh, sexual harassment and maternity and uh, maternity leave? Yes, we do. We have all these guidelines in place. They're part of our HR processes and manuals. So we ensure that um, we have uh, channels for instance, for any, 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 any sexual harassment issues. And these are very punitively dealt with at the board level. We offer maternity, we even have lactation centers, we have um, maternity leave for, for, for the men who bring us lovely children. We even have something we call adaptive leave, which is a new change in employment act that, that um, on adoption, there should be some level of, um, of, of the new parents having to to interact with the adapter child, and that's something that we brought on board. These two SDG goals speak to the importance of corporate governance. By embracing, let's, let's take for example, SDG goal number five, having more women on the boards. Uh, we've seen companies that have women on board are, more, are becoming more profitable, they're becoming more better managed from a risk perspective. SDG five, has been very helpful in terms of improving governance among the issuers and among our clients. SDG3 has improved productivity. When you, when you are able to ensure that there are very good safety standards for staff, they're able to ensure that um, their well-being is catered for, naturally there's a good productivity out of staff and that, that's been very helpful.